Welcome. So the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II has some impressive cameras. And to get the most out of them, we have to learn how to use Photo Pro. Specifically, we want to shoot RAW in Photo Pro. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to shoot RAW and how to edit it using Lightroom. If you remember, in the last video, I showed this example of a sunny day with high dynamic range. And here we see that the bright spots lost detail. And then in this other photo, we see that the shaded areas have lost detail. In the last photo, which looks the best, everything looks quite good. And this was with Auto HDR. And I think it compares well to other phones. Now what if I told you we can do even better? Take a look at this image. Here the colors are more accurate. You can see that the green of the grass is more true. And the brightness of the shaded areas is more true to life as well. You can see that the trees actually look like they're shaded. Versus in the auto mode, they look brighter than they really were. Also notice how the trees have a natural blur to them. Well, in the auto mode, they didn't. This is a common pitfall of auto modes, where they try to make everything look clear and sharp. And what you really want is the subject, the mailbox here, to be the one that's in focus. So how did we get this shot? We shot in RAW. This is part two of how to get the best image quality using Photo Pro. If you haven't already, watch part one for an overview of the app and how to use the different modes that it has. Also, due to popular demand, I'm going to do a part three on how to take nighttime shots of the stars like this. The Xperia can take impressive astro shots when shooting in RAW. Subscribe if you'd like to see that. So what is RAW? A RAW image is the full RAW data the camera captured. Think of RAW as having the full ingredients to make a final photo, while JPEG is the final cooked dish. Auto modes, like Auto HDR, cooks the dish for you, giving you a baked and creative look that is convenient, but it's hard to tweak. Also, RAW is not the same on all phones, and many times you're better off in the auto modes, but the Xperia is different. So why do we want to shoot RAW with the Xperia? Well, we want to capture the most image data possible, and the Xperia takes massive 25 megabyte RAW files, which is quite large for the small sensor and more than I've seen on other phones. It gives us the most control on colors and brightness when editing, resulting in a true-to-life look when compared to the JPEG options. So how do we shoot RAW? Well, it's built in with the Xperia. So if we go into Photo Pro, you can see in the menu, we have file format. And we can select RAW, RAW plus JPEG as our options. Now you can see in this case, they're grayed out because I am in Auto HDR. So if I go to Exposure, I can go here, and I usually just set it on D-Range Optimizer. Now don't worry that we're turning off Auto HDR because the RAW file is going to capture quite a bit of data. So we go to File Format now, and now we can select RAW plus JPEG. Now I typically just do RAW plus JPEG because it's nice to have a file that I can share immediately, as the RAW is going to require some editing afterwards. Another way to switch modes is down here where we see RAW plus J. If I tap on this, I can now select JPEG, or I can tap it again and go back to RAW plus JPEG. So now that we have RAW selected, taking the image is similar to what we covered in part one, where we take a look at our histogram, make sure we're in the right settings. So here I'm in program, which is fine. Our histogram looks great. So I'm clear to take a photo of the owl here. So now let's take a look at how to edit RAW using Lightroom. So here's that mailbox photo again, and this is the RAW file before editing. And you can see that I made sure not to lose detail in both the bright and shaded areas of the image by using the histogram like I just covered. I made sure that the sunny parts of the photo in the back were clear and not too bright. Now, this is a common strategy uh, to expose for the brightest parts of the image when you're shooting RAW. And you can see that the resulting image does look dark, but since this is RAW, we can make those areas brighter. So here we're gonna go ahead and boost the shadows a little bit, and we're also gonna bring down the highlights to, to balance out the brightness throughout the image. And then we can just increase the overall brightness of the image uh, with the exposure here. And now this makes the photo look true to life. And that's it. Not bad, right? Working with RAW is not that difficult uh, if you know what you're doing. Now we could obviously tweak this further if you wanted to, but this already looks quite great. RAW also works great when shooting at night. Take a look at this photo of this stop sign that I took after sunset. This stop sign was only being lit by a street lamp. By shooting in RAW, I was able to capture the colors of the dark trees in the background and the blue in the sky. And this looks pretty much exactly as it did in real life. I shot this handheld at 1 15th of a second shutter speed. 
And it's important to keep in mind to get the highest quality RAW file, you want to minimize the ISO sensitivity uh, like we covered in part one. And remember, you can go quite slow on the shutter speed since the Xperia 1 Mark II has a great image stabilization system. And in this case, when shooting at night, where I need to capture as much light as possible, by using that 1 15th of a second shutter speed, I was able to keep the ISO at 800. I hope you found that helpful. In the next video, we'll cover astrophotography with the Xperia 1 Mark II, where shooting in RAW makes a big difference. And I know many of you are waiting for a Cinema Pro tutorial, and that's coming as well. So subscribe if you're new, and like this video if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.